Here's this week's My Boat feature. We all love boating, but the sad fact in Canada and northern U.S. is that it comes to an end late in the fall, and that's a perfect time to do some maintenance. And that's what we're doing this week for My Boat. We're going to do the basic fall maintenance, including oil change, on these Mercruiser 7.4 liter MPIs. Hot oil is more viscous and thus easier to pump out, so run your motors until they heat up. A hand pump is cheap and easy, so that's all we're using. Take the dipstick out and run the hose all the way down, start pumping it out. Always be sure to properly dispose of oil and any other chemicals. Now we're pumping away on engine number two, it takes a little while. So while that's draining, we can move on to the oil filter for engine number one. Always try and use an OEM or high quality brand name filter. An oil filter wrench will likely be needed to loosen it, as will some engine room yoga to reach around and access it in this case. Use a plastic bag around the filter and unscrew by hand. The bag will catch most of the oil and limit your mess. Well, most of it anyway. Before you put the new filter on, use some old oil and lube the rim and tighten only by hand. Same process to remove the fuel filter, including the plastic bag trick. Then put the new one on, put some oil on this as well, again tightening only by hand. Same as the filters, use OEM or high quality brand name marine oil to fill it up. Looks good, and being a little under full is better than being a little over full. That takes care of all the fluids for our fall maintenance, other than starting up the engines and just checking for any leaks. And seeing none, we can then move on to the ignition. We're gonna change the ignition wires, rotor, and cap, and spark plugs. First, remove the cap. It's just two screws holding it on. Then remove the rotor, or try to. So we got the rotor off. You can see that it's well-worn. It actually broke coming off because it was corroded right to the shaft means we're well overdue for maintenance on this motor and we're gonna have to clean that up a little bit before we move forward. I had to brush down the corrosion around the shaft while using a vacuum to suck up the debris and bristles but this will need to be replaced soon. A spritz of WD-40 and the new rotor can slide on. Recover it with the new cap, securing with the new screws and that's another step done. Use a socket wrench with spark plug extension to loosen the old and tighten the new. Check the gap on the new plugs to be sure they're perfect. Do the ignition wires and spark plugs one at a time and the easiest way is to match up the length of wire you've taken off with a new one. That way you work along in order making sure you keep them all in the proper position on the cap which is key as the firing order is precise. This part is straightforward in concept, but tricky in practice as you have to work around the engine. Never complain about how much work your mechanic is. And you're probably going to need some more of that engine room yoga here. All right, that takes care of the ignition and my back, but not quite done yet. One final step, got to clear out this flame arrester. Whoa. Using soap and water or a solvent will be more thorough, but if it's not too bad, a vacuum and brush work very well. Then snap it back into place. Overall, it's about a three out of five in terms of difficulty, mostly the know-how and the awkwardness of getting to things. But if you have the time, a little bit of patience and the right tools, you can save yourself quite a few bucks and you need to do the work anyway. And with that, it's ready to call it a season. So time to haul out and wash it down. And then put this boat to bed for another winter.